Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this particular video, I want to talk about the new update of Vegas Pro 19, which is the build number 424. This is the second update for Vegas 19. And on this particular uh, update, uh, they improved the program stabilities, uh, get rid of a certain box as well, introduce several new features and enhancement on the program. Now in this video, I'm going to talk specifically on the color keys and some few new controls that they added on the program, which work with the color grading panel. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to talk about specifically on the color grading panel. Right. So here I have a video clip in the timeline. It's a simple shot. Okay. And I already color graded just a bit so that we can straight uh, jump into the uh, grading or uh, grading or correction process here okay so um, what you can see now is that if you pay attention on the color grading panel you can see there is one line above my offset color wheel okay now this line indicates on which color wheel that active okay now let's say if I click on the gamma color wheel it will bring that line over the gamma wheel same goes for lift gain and offset and it also applies for the range limited color wheel okay now this new line here that they added here is basically trying to tell you that which color wheel that you are currently working on okay now this is actually a, a small enhancement and i would say it's a really nice touch so that you are aware which color wheel that you you know currently using when you are grading your video so you uh, not accidentally go to a different color wheel when performing correction or grading over your video so i really like this uh, small uh, enhancement that they have made on the interface of the grading panel okay the next improvement that they have made on the grading panel is the color wheel itself the control over these wheels okay on both color wheels and range limited color wheels now back then if you ever to move like a bit it will abruptly affect the image but now if I move it around just a gentle just a bit it it slowly add the colors to your video okay and this is close enough to DaVinci Resolve color wheel okay so I like that uh, enhancement that they have made and let's say if this is still too much for you you can hold control and it will move the color wheel very very slowly okay and same goes for the range limited color wheel okay now the next uh, things that they have uh, improved on the color grading panel is uh, the controls for it okay so they added controls on the non-pad keys which call the color keys okay and they also add controls on the arrow keys as well on the mouse itself here you can use your uh, scroll wheel with a combination of keys here to move your color wheel okay so <clears throat> I'm going to start off with the numpad key here. Okay, it's called the color key in Vegas. It's actually the same thing as printer lights hotkey in DaVinci Resolve. All right, so printer lights are actually a, a photochemical process. It's a physical process to color grade or correct the films back then. And you can emulate the similar stuff in DaVinci Resolve by using the uh, printer lights hotkeys. Now that printer light hotkeys in Resolve control the offset wheels because that's what it's actually doing. It control the offset color to you know add or remove certain colors channels onto the films. And that's the same thing applies here on the hotkeys. So it's very simple. Uh, seven and four control the red. Uh, eight and five control the green nine and six control the blue channel okay and then for minus and one control the cyan two and zero control the magenta three and delete control the yellow okay and plus and uh, enter control the luminance of the color wheel itself and to reset everything you press backspace simple as that okay so let's start off with the offset wheel because that's what it actually used for it always control the offset even in resolve okay so if let's say i want to add blue on this video i can just press nine here and i add more blue okay and let's say i want to you know add green I can press eight i can even add more reds here and it will just do exactly as i clicking this around okay and let's say i want to brighten up the image i press plus 
darken it press enter and I can add yellow if I want to and do all sorts of things just using these numpad keys however you might ask me like every time I click the amount of color that I add is is super harsh so there is a way to you know have a finer controls so let's reset everything by pressing backspace now to have much more finer control you hold control on your keyboard okay and you can see how subtle the movement of the colors that I'm adding here okay so let's say I want to add a bit of reddish magenta over here maybe add more blue let me reduce the red a bit okay maybe a bit add a bit of uh, warm maybe darken the image a bit and you're just controlling the offset just like so and the best of all the color keys in Vegas are not exclusive to the offset wheel you can use it on the gain channel here I mean on the gain color wheel and I can up do the same thing which is not achievable in resolve so the color key in Vegas is much more better than the color keys or the print the light hot keys in resolve because in resolve you are strictly controlling the offset wheel while in Vegas you can control offset gain gamma and lift as well in the range limited color wheel like all of these eight wheels in total here which is pretty cool okay so let's say if I click on the gamma here at blues I can reduce the blue if I want to and you know has much more finer control which channel am I controlling now okay so let's reset all of this color wheel here I'm going to show you guys one more control that they added on the uh, program here which is the control using the arrow keys and using your mouse wheel so the next thing that they have improved on the uh, program is the ability to control your color wheels by using the arrow keys or your mouse wheel so I'm gonna start off with the arrow keys and the arrow keys have two controls two modes I, sh I shall say same goes for the mouse wheel uh, one is uh, polar coordination and one is Cartesian coordinations so by default it will be in polar so make sure you click on which uh, color wheel that you want to control so let's say offset now by default if I press the arrow key up it will add saturations if I press down it will just uh, reduce the saturation okay based on that wheel positions okay this is adding saturation and get rid of saturation now if I want to move the color wheel counterclockwise I press left and move the wheel counterclockwise and to move clockwise I just pull I mean press right okay let's say I want magenta too much of color desaturated a bit maybe I want it blue can go to blue channel here Maybe too much and desaturate it a bit okay very very easy to understand now backspace to reset that is uh, polar coordination next is Cartesian now to enable Cartesian mode you hold you press caps lock okay make sure your caps lock is enabled or hold shift but I prefer to have my caps lock on because I don't have to hold shift okay this is literally straightforward press up move the color wheel up press down you move the wheel color uh, wheel down okay if press left you just go left and press right it will just go left I mean go right this is much more easier to understand and straightforward okay backspace to reset now the same thing as for the mouse wheel okay make sure your mouse is hover the cursor hover uh, above your wheel okay and uh, if you move your mouse wheel or oh, forgot to reset it to default mode okay so by default if you move move your mouse wheel forward it will add saturation and move down it will get rid of the saturations to move counterclockwise or clockwise you must hold alt okay okay holding uh, alt while moving forward scrolling forward you move in clockwise and scrolling downward it will move the color wheel counterclockwise simple as that now if I enable Cartesian control which is uh, press caps lock now the mouse will literally move up and down okay and holding alt will move the color wheel left and right simple as that okay 
so there is like three different ways to control your color wheels one is using color keys the arrow keys or your mouse wheel it really depends on how you want to control and color grade your video okay it's it's all boils down to your personal preference which one you like the most okay so i hope you guys like this video and if you have any question related can leave it down in the comment section and see you guys next time bye bye